imagine a cold and silent night high above the northern sky. The air is still, the stars are bright, and the radar screens across Russia are calm. Everything seems peaceful until something begins to move at 50,000 feet. It's silent, invisible, and deadly. No sound, no light, no warning. That shadow in the sky is the F-22 Raptor, America's most secretive stealth fighter. And today we're asking one fascinating question. Can an F-22 really fly into Russia completely undetected? The ghost called F-22. The F-22 isn't just another fighter jet. It's the very definition of American air dominance. Built by Lockheed Martin, this fifth generation aircraft was designed not just to fight, but to dominate. Every inch of its surface is shaped to deflect radar waves away from their source. Its hidden weapon bays and smooth angles minimize reflections. The entire aircraft is covered with radar absorbing materials, making it a nightmare for enemy radar. It can fly faster than the speed of sound without using afterburners, a rare ability called super cruise. That means it can stay supersonic without producing the bright exhaust flames that infrared sensors can easily spot. Its radar, the ANAPG77AESA, can scan for enemies while staying silent itself. It sees you, but you don't see it. Combined with advanced electronic warfare systems, the F-22 can jam radars, hide its presence, and even send false signals to confuse its pursuers. The result is not just speed and power, it's a ghost in the sky, unseen, untouchable, and unforgiving. What undetected really means. Before we go further, let's be clear, in modern air combat, undetected doesn't mean invisible forever. There's a big difference between being detected and being locked on. Detection means the enemy radar sees something, maybe a faint blip or an unexplained reflection. But lock-on means that radar has enough information, distance, speed, altitude, to guide a missile and fire. The F-22's stealth doesn't make it invisible. What it does is make it extremely hard to track or target, so the real question isn't, can the F-22 be seen? It's, can it complete its mission before the enemy realizes it was ever there? And that answer might surprise you. The beast it would face Russia's air defense. To understand the challenge, we need to look at what the F-22 would be up against. Russia has one of the most advanced and layered air defense networks on Earth. We're talking about long-range radar systems like NEBO-M and missile platforms such as the S-400 Triumph and the new S-500 Promete. The NEBO-M radar is particularly dangerous. It operates in low-frequency bands, VHF and L-band which are excellent for spotting stealth aircraft. These radars can't draw a perfect picture, but they can see a shadow. However, detection doesn't equal destruction. Western analysts agree that while Russian systems might sense something unusual, they would struggle to lock onto a stealth aircraft like the F-22 with precision. And that's the key. Once the Raptor detects it's being tracked, it can jam, turn, or vanish again. By the time Russian radar operators react, the F-22 could already be gone. Could it actually enter Russian airspace? Technically, yes, it could. The F-22 was built for deep penetration missions. It could cross into enemy airspace while remaining hard to detect. But that doesn't make it easy. Russia's radar network is enormous and overlapping. It includes interceptors like the MiG-31, and airborne early warning aircraft such as the A-50 AWACS. Together, they create a radar web stretching across the continent. So while the F-22 might avoid one radar, it could still appear faintly on another. The longer it stays in hostile territory, the greater the risk. To succeed, the mission would have to be fast, silent, and surgical. What determines success? Several factors would determine if an F-22 could pull this off. First, distance and route. Russia is massive. To reach deep targets, the F-22 would need tanker support or nearby bases in Eastern Europe or Alaska. Every route carries risk because radar coverage is nearly continuous. Second mission duration. 
The longer it stays inside, the higher the chance of detection. Stealth works best for quick strikes. Get in, hit the target, and vanish. Third, electromagnetic environment. Russia operates radars across multiple frequency bands. Flying through that storm undetected is a major challenge, even for a stealth jet. Fourth, weather. Bad weather can sometimes help by disrupting infrared sensors. And finally, surprise. If Russia isn't expecting anything, many radars could be in standby mode. That's when stealth truly shines, when no one's watching. The limits and the risks. But let's not pretend stealth is magic. Even the best aircraft leaves traces, radar absorbing paint and design help, but physics always wins eventually. Under the right conditions, low frequency radar or infrared sensors can still pick up a stealth jet. Russia's low frequency radars might alert defenses that something's in the sky. Once that happens, high frequency radars and infrared sensors can narrow the location. Russia also flies MiG 31BM interceptors, high altitude hunters equipped with long range missiles and heat sensors that could detect the faint thermal signature of an F-22. And then there are military satellites, always watching. Even if the Raptor slips past ground radar, space-based sensors might still spot it. So yes, stealth gives you the advantage of time, but not total invisibility. What history tells us? There's no public record of an F-22 entering Russian airspace, and it's extremely unlikely to happen during peacetime. But there are clues. In Syria, F-22s have operated near Russian jets. In several encounters, Russian pilots later admitted they didn't even know an F-22 was nearby until it suddenly appeared next to them. That's how stealth works in the real world. Not invisible forever, but invisible long enough to control the situation. Even Russian analysts acknowledge that the F-22 is extremely difficult to detect, except under specific conditions. That's a polite way of saying, we know it's there, but we can't catch it. The Raptor doesn't need to hide forever. It just needs to strike first and leave before anyone can respond. A hypothetical mission. Now imagine this, an F-22 takes off from a NATO base in Eastern Europe under total radio silence. Its mission, to gather intelligence near a Russian airfield deep inside the border. It climbs to 50,000 feet and glides silently across the night. Its radar is off, its communications quiet. The onboard computer guides it through radar gaps, tiny blind spots between coverage zones. For the first few minutes, Russia sees nothing. Then, one Nebo-M radar catches a faint reflection. It's too small to confirm, but big enough to raise questions. Other radars come online, but by the time they coordinate, the F-22 has already taken high-resolution photos, transmitted them via satellite, and turned home. Maybe they detected something? Maybe not. But could they stop it? Almost certainly not. The real answer. So can the F-22 fly into Russia undetected? The honest answer is yes and no. Yes, because under the right conditions, with perfect planning, short duration, and total surprise, it could enter Russian airspace and leave before being noticed. But also no, because stealth doesn't mean invisible. Russia's vast radar network is powerful enough to eventually notice something unusual. Stealth is not about never being seen. It's about not being seen in time. The F-22 can fool radar, but it can't defy physics. The shadow above the sky. Imagine this, a Russian radar operator watches his screen. For a moment, a faint blip appears, then disappears. He frowns, rubs his eyes, and assumes it's just a glitch. But high above him, the most advanced fighter in the world cuts silently through the night sky, already on its way home. That's the power of the F-22 Raptor. Aircraft built not for noise, but for silence. In modern warfare, victory doesn't belong to the one who fires first. It belongs to the one who's never seen it all. So what do you think? Can stealth technology still dominate the skies? Or will the next generation of Russian radar finally reveal the unseen? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Because in our next video, we'll ask another question. Is the F-35 truly better than the F-22? Thanks for watching, and until next time, see you in the skies.